what's good, what's good. Another beautiful Sunday. Everyday Sunday. Everyday Sunday. Make sure you check out the link in the bio. Make sure you support. Copy your shirt a hat. Y'all always gonna show gratitude just for you just watching this video. And if you appreciate, you know what I'm saying, God and what he do for you. Purchasing one of them gratitude hats would be the perfect time to do it right now at the end of this moment. I don't have one on me right now or um, it's at the crib, but um anyway, I just wanted to come on here and say, man, there's a lot going on in the world. A lot of things changing. We in election season. We in uh, hurricane season. We're going into the fall leading into the winter season. Uh, a lot of things are changing, you know what I'm saying? Seasons changing, people changing. The events are changing us. And the uh, information that we're receiving from, uh, you know, mass media and uh, influencers and, you know, celebrities is um, not not in sync with what we actually live in in reality uh, a lot of things not making sense um and it's a lot of people um delusional right now a lot of people are suffering from delusion um i think ever since covid 2019 um um a lot of people never came back from that like even though they say it was a um a virus or some type of bacteria or a sickness um i think i think more so it was a mental um a mental um issue mental sickness and a spiritual sickness it was a disease going around and that disease one of the symptoms um and you can look this up on google um one of the symptoms was new confusion the first time i saw that i laughed at it I laughed at it. I was like, that's funny that they saying new confusion because a lot of people are confused about what's real and what's going on. Like the news telling us this. They telling us to go to go to the hospital and get the get this in our body. You know, take this, take that. Um and they was going against nature. They were telling us things that was backwards and upside down. It didn't make sense to a lot of people. But a lot of people went along to go along. They they just follow we just did what they were told. A lot of people, you know, just did what they boss told them to do and wore, wore mask and, you know, went to the doctor and, you know, made their decision. And I don't, I try not to judge people because I, uh, luckily in my situation, I didn't have to do some of those things and I was able to keep, um, income coming in for my family. Um, but that was, you know, that didn't mean I didn't, um, suffered some of the effects of it and even after um covid we went through um a natural disaster me and my family got displaced on some um uh, we gotta pack and go we gotta get up and go because it's over with so we had to move a lot of a lot of change happened around there so covid during 2019 leading up to this year which is 2024 and uh, we got like two months left, two or three months left um, until 2025, man. It's a lot of things that that changed, and we not the same. Like, uh, um, humanity is different. But the weird part about it, humanity is different, but we keep getting the same, same lies. And um, they keep telling us the same, same old, same old story. And they telling us to do these things like vote and uh you know, vote for a president so they can change it. And, and now, um, now they got black, black people going back and forth. Um, cause they under new confusion. Like they don't know what to do. Like we, okay. We had a president, um, Joe Biden and the vice president Komala. Now we don't know who the president is right now. Cause they told Joe Biden to sit down and now Kamala is in the public, but she's not the president. She's not the president. And according to uh, the record, they didn't have a good term. These last four years was not good. So now they're making black people think that we still have to vote the same way. So I'm like, 
if we didn't have a good four years and everybody complaining about the, the economy and you know and all this stuff why are they telling us to vote for the same thing and, and making it seem like it's change? Why are they doing that? And why 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 these radio hosts and uh, celebrities saying all saying the same thing? And it's clear that we don't agree. It's clear people in the public are not agreeing. We don't see it. We don't. It don't make sense. Like Kamala not getting nobody excited. The only people that's excited about Kamala Harris is people that, you know, just go along and get along, just follow the narrative and the media politics. Um, they just go along with the, they just go with the flow, basically. It's just of the flow of, um, I don't want to say nothing negative. Because I'm not trying not to judge. I'm just saying. It's just not natural. It's not. I don't even want to say normal. It's just not in alignment. With righteousness. And. Consciousness. And the progression of the. Spirit. And the evolution of the soul. It just doesn't align with goodness, peace, tranquility. Now, they could tell us that it does, but in reality, it's not. It don't look like what they're saying. They're telling us that Kamala is the best option, but for some reason, it don't look like it. It don't feel like it. When they, when they, when she, when they have her on these interviews and stuff, it just don't feel like this is the right option. And I know when I say Trump, it just feels like a better option. People don't disagree with that. They know what you mean when you say that. That he been here before. He served eight years, and uh, during his term, things were. Not, not as bad as they are now. I'm going to just say that. So, my thing is... It seems like there's a whole lot of new confusion. And delusion on both sides. Now, I'm not saying who I'm voting for. I'm not even saying I'm voting or not voting. All I'm saying is... From now on... I am delusional. I agree. What y'all say... I don't agree with. From now on, I'm a rich Native American. My ancestors built some of this. They own a lot of this land. I am not a black person. I am a spiritual being having a human experience. Okay? I am that I am. I am everything and everything is me. I am you. I am the universe in the walking flesh. I am light in the human body. I am a percentage of the sun, which makes me a person that lives in this matrix that is ruled by our thoughts. And our thoughts are ruled by what we consume and our emotions help us navigate a lot of people don't pay attention to their emotions but that's all you are you are a walking ball of energy when we understand that we able to we able to make better decisions in this world of how we reacting and it's our responsibility to respond in alignment with truth and righteousness. All I'm saying is, if everybody else delusional, I'm delusional too. So. I am very wealthy and healthy. Very handsome. I have everything I need. I don't need nothing. 
I don't want nothing because I'm full already. My love life is complete. My family life is complete. My work life is complete. My creativity is at 100%. My potential is bright. My light is very attractive. And I'm good. Okay? All these things going on in the world, they don't affect me. I am not affected by the ills of the world. I am not, I am not influenced by society. I'm influenced by God. And I move in the spirit of Christ. Which keeps me in alignment with the universe. And the source of all things. And with that said, I want to say I appreciate y'all for watching this video all the way to the end. And if you like what I said, hit the link in the description. Every day Sunday is the store. And if you want to support, I will greatly appreciate that. But until then, until the next time, y'all have a blessed one. Be peaceful. And I see y'all next time. Peace.